Hello, my name is Resurgeon, and today we are playing Satiety, or Satiety, or Satiety, Tomato Tomato. It is a short horror game, an escape room horror game, made by Mike Ten, and I picked this up off of itch.io. I'm excited to get into it. Now, one thing I will say before we do get into it is that I had to turn the game down quite a bit and make sure that the audio mixer in my recording software was well balanced with my with my voice so if you're getting into it if you're a headphone user i would suggest turning your volume down by about 40 percent and then raising it from there before you get started with this the soundtrack is good don't get me wrong but i just i like to keep my hearing whenever i whenever i play <laughs> With all that being said, let's get into it. I'm excited to see what Mike 10 has for us. I do enjoy... what? Oh, hey. That's neat. This is neat. I like this. W-A-S-D to move, F to interact, C to crouch, space to jump. Oh, I can jump. Oh, damn, I can jump. Holy good. My head will be flat. Tab to back. What is that? What is two? I don't know. I hit tab and it's like two. F to interact. Can I turn these on? No. C to crouch. Mm -hmm. Get to see all the things. So, with an escape horror. Oh, and. Let's see. That's regular walking. And if I hit shift, I'm like zoom. I zoom. Riser go zoom. Oh, man. Oh, man. That is a crime. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Right next to the pot. That's a small pot, by the way. That's actually. That's a good sized pot. You don't have to fall in. But uh you may have to aim a little bit. Either which way, coming back to this. Coming back to this. This is a crime. Who the hell? Why the hell? Put <clears throat> Some people are rude. They are rude. You don't do that. You don't do that. And by the way, who the frick, who the frick, who the frick, I want to know, I want to know, who puts their toilet paper like this and thinks it's a good idea? It's supposed to go over, not under. <clears throat> okay, all right, enough, enough about that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm gonna lose my mind. There's a vent here. Hmm, it feels wobbly. Kick it, kick it. You have, you have shoes on, right? Just kick it. See, I would be practical and just start destroying things if I had to get out of a room. Hmm, there is a blood puddle here. What happened here? Did anyone get injured or is it mine? I don't know, look in the mirror, there's a mirror right there. Anywho, I shouldn't gripe. I'm gonna smack. Oh my god, I can smack my head on that. All right, all right, that's enough of the squirrel. The squirrel. Can we wash this? No. Maybe it's just ketchup. Maybe it's ketchup, my dude. I like the ambient sound. Hello. The clock is not working. Sounds like it's working. Uh, maybe give it a nudge. I don't know. Lift it up off the uh, off the wall. What is this? It's not my fault. It's not my fault. It's not my. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. Not my. Not my. Not my fault. Not my. Not my fault. Okay. Oh wait, wait. I can rotate that. What's behind it? Nothing. I thought there would be something behind it. Maybe later. Maybe later. I don't know. Four candles. I'm sure details will need to be paid attention to as an escape room. Lift it. There is a sheet covering something underneath it. Should I uncover it? Yes. Let's see what's here. Hmm. Looks like a toy horse. Aw. Can I ride it? It's a rocking toy horse for kids. There ain't nothing wrong with going back to childhood. Ain't nothing wrong. Of course, I, I'm probably a very tall and heavy individual for what this toy is rated for, so... Maybe not. There is a fold in here that is suspicious to me. I would be all over it. Hello. Jump scare? No. 
Ooh, screwdriver. We do need that. All right, we're going to take that. And we're going to close these. I try to close doors. Sometimes I don't remember, or I just get really impatient and move on. And then don't do anything else. I like the sounds. I do like the ambient sounds. I have a screwdriver. Try to pry it open? Yes! Alright, what's in there? A key! We're gonna need the key. Anything else in there? Any SCPs? Any eyeballs? Any missed opportunity to put eyeballs somewhere in the back there? Like, if you move around and stuff like that? Missed opportunity, I think that would have been cool. Cool AF. Alright, can I use the screwdriver on this? Clock is not working. No. No. Alright, let's go to the next room. You have a key. Try using it. Yes. Her? Oh no. I don't like it. Things are moving. It's a rocking toy horse for kids. And it's moving. Everything went silent and I don't like it. Well, time to figure out where this where this ketchup came from. We're gonna see if I have ketchup. You couldn't freaking make any comments about the rocking toy horse by itself? We are in a haunted house, my dude. We are in a haunted house. We can't even hear anything. Ah! Oh my god, my ears! My ears! <laughs> yeah, so if you had this on regular volume when you first started, you would be slightly deaf right now. I understand that you were crying, but you, man, why'd you have to do my earballs that way? <sighs> well, I guess flashbangs really exist for a reason, to be honest. Guilt. Guilt. Father. Guilt. Father. Father. Guilt. Fault. 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 Not my fault. Not my fault. You did not turn out the way we needed you to. Okay. Father. Guilt. Fault. Interesting. What's on the back of this? One of these day. Oh, God, that got big in a hurry. That got big. Ooh. Missed opportunity. Missed opportunities to put little Easter eggs. Okay, father. Two fathers. Mm hmm. Four guilt. Two faults. What was it? Two fathers? Two fathers. Four guilts. Oops. Did I miss, I missed something, didn't I? Two fathers. Two faults. One, two. Four guilts. Four guilts. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Missing something? That is guilt, right? That is guilt. All right, let's go back up. Maybe I missed a word. Maybe I missed a word up here. Nope. Nope. One, two, three, four, five. Maybe it's five plus two. Five plus two, seven. So seven faults? Fault. Yep, it was. It was. Das ist gut. F. Flashlight? Oh no. We have a flashlight. Yeah, let's take it. Uh, how do I... What is that? What does that do? I'm curious. Oh my god! Okay, we're not screwing with that. We're gonna put it at one. There we go. Where's my flashlight? Oh. T. T for flat. Right there. Dumb. Dumb. Alright, let's see if there's another jump scare coming in here. I don't know. You a monster? 
you want some help? Do you need help out of here? I think that thing is dead. Look at them guts! Either you were harvesting, or you were feeding it. One of the two. I don't know. And then you were... Ah! A YouTuber's cooking! There's there's like a chunk of that. Nope, that's just all the way around. There's like a YouTuber's cooking uh, show right here. Fancy that. Fancy that. For what? For cooking things that you 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 tr you feed this thing and then it finally died because of your horrible cooking do you make uh, ground meats with this thing i know what this thing is it's a wood chipper where the hell is the outshoot i don't know that wood chippers would really function well with meat just saying what can i interact with there's some kind of liquid there some kind of thingy there. Looks like maybe remnants of a spider, like a spider husk. We've got skulls. We've got... Forgot to close that door back there. Dumb. Can I interact with it? No, it's live. It's just spraying sparks all over me. Can't... Oh, there's another vent, so... I have a screwdriver. Try to pry it open? Yes. Hmm? watch something's gonna come out of there and eat my face or this guy's gonna come alive and then break out even though this looks like a very yes is that even locked or is that partially locked no they're they're locked they're locked i think well this is a strange setup uh, that lighting looks a little weird to be honest just saying just saying but i am enjoying this far we are going to go in here I Nope 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 Well That went horribly. When I was awake I found myself arrested and inside a police car. Apparently, the police received a distress call from my daughter. It was found out that the blood in the bathroom is from my daughter. Oh no. I hope that she is okay, as her body hasn't been found yet. What did you do to her? What did you do to her? Thank you for playing. Satiety was created within three weeks as a submission of the Sinti Game Jam submission for the theme, Wait, Are We the Bad Guys? You know what? Contains loud noises and flashing lights. So, this game had really good buildup. There's a couple of things that I would have liked to have seen a little bit more development on say like little details little things here and there more things to interact with as an escape room maybe things that kind of give you a red herring and lead you off into other parts and stuff like that it was a little bit more linear now that being said i know that some games when you work on them for three weeks of course you've got real life and stuff like that maybe this isn't your full-time thing i understand that but this is coming from the point that if you were to, say, expand upon this game, improve it, come back to it, add more to it, I would like to see a little bit more, say, like little details, things that really draw you in and go, huh, huh, what do I use for this? What do I use for that? And like maybe a little red herring that brings you off to kind of hint at, at the theme of bad guys and stuff like that. So, I mean... Waking up in a room, trying to figure out what the heck's gone on. There's no front door, there seems. It's almost, it's almost, hmm, how do I, what are the words I'm looking for? Help me out here. It's almost like you're stuck within your own mind, in a way, and you're trying to dig your way out. That's pretty cool. It's surreal. Very surreal. There's no apparent front door. There's only one way in or out, and it doesn't even lead out. It just goes to a vent and then it goes to the room that you are supposedly doing atrocious things in because you're the only one there. You're the only one there. I do like that element. 
I would like to see more stuff, more details, more... Have fun, my guy. Mike 10, scare... Like, like, give me a little... Maybe not so much scare me more. I would, I would definitely appreciate it if you were a little nicer on my earballs. <laughs> but uh, add, add more, add more lore. Have fun with it and stuff like that. I, I love stuff like that. And of course, opinions are like arseholes, as my parents told me, and take it with a grain of salt. So, you do you. Either which way, I enjoyed playing this game, and I look forward to more from Mike Ten. I think a certain soulless YouTuber has played some other games by Mike 10, and I'm definitely going to check out other games by Mike 10 myself, as time allots. So, all that being said, my name is Resurgent. Thank you for joining me on this playthrough. Catch you on the next one.